How's it going everyone? Um, sorry I've been a bit inactive on YouTube lately. I haven't had many uploads recently. Um, I went self-employed back in October uh, and I thought I'd have more time to be doing more videos and things like that. But it's actually been the complete opposite. I've had less time because I've had a lot of work come in, uh, which is always a good thing. Uh, but I'm trying to make a conscious effort to do a little bit more posting on my YouTube channel as well. Uh, I'm quite active on Instagram. So if you're on Instagram and you want to give me a follow, uh, my Instagram handle is CP Utility Solutions, same as the YouTube channel. Um, but in this video, uh, it's actually a bit of a fuck up. So I wanted to show you guys a bit of real life plumbing, uh, things which don't always go to plan. Um, so in this job, I was helping a good friend of mine, D from the DC group on a system conversion. Um, and there was a bit of a mix up with the hot and cold feeds. Um, so have a look at the video, you get an idea. And this is just to show how things don't always go right. Now there's gonna be a few keyboard warriors on here who are gonna try and criticize me in the comments. Well done to you guys already. I'm already dissing myself by showing you guys where I fucked up. So if you wanna put another comment on it, feel free to do so. But this video is mainly to show the people who are newly coming into the trade or so, um, showing what can happen when things go wrong and most importantly, how to overcome it and rectify it and get things back up and running again. So once again, enjoy the video. If you're not subscribing already, please subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. But either way, enjoy. Also, one last thing, I wanna apologize for the portrait video. Um, I hadn't planned to film this for YouTube, so it's all just been filmed on my Instagram story. So I'm going to be downloading it and then re basically stitching them all together and putting them up as a YouTube video. So the whole thing's in portrait mode. Sorry about that, um, but it is what it is. Right, conversion today. So all this is coming out. So again, I've done a story before on how to, well, I've done a post before on how to do a conversion, but simplifying this one. Got the primary flow coming up from the boiler here going into the pump so i'm going to cut that below the floorboard that's then going to get linked onto this which is a heating flow coming off of the three port um that's all going to go that's the primary return coming back from the cylinder so that's going to get cut and capped below the floor uh, that's our vent pipe going up there that's going to get cut and removed that's our cold feed it's going to get cut and removed from the hot water side that's going to go, that's our vent for the um, hot water, that's going to go and hot water down here, that's going to go get capped under the floor. This is our cold feed going up to the cold water storage tank. Now there's two feeds coming off of it, so we need to keep this in place, so I'll probably... So, I was saying, so this cold feed is feeding the cold water storage tank, but then there's two feeds coming off of it, so what I'm going to have to do is cut this below the floorboard bring it underneath here and then bring it back up along this wall and reconnect back onto this just so that it's tucked away and it's not just here. There was a cupboard here so that's why this was like this but yeah I'm going to bring it up tight up against the wall um, and then link out the main services up in the loft um, and everything else is going to go. So literally all we should have left here is one pipe going up like that that's pretty much what we should see um but yeah let's see what it's like when i start ripping everything out right so a little update the pipe that i thought was a cold supply up to the cold water storage isn't because the stop clock on there was facing down not going up so this is why it's important to come up in the loft and check all your pipes well before you start cutting i just thought they'd maybe fit the stop clock the wrong way around however coming up here the cold feed is actually coming through this chimney breast and that's not where that pipe is coming up. That pipe, which I thought was a cold feed, is actually this one here, which is then going down, which makes sense because that's next to the two other 22 mil pipes. Now that is basically another feed off of the cold water storage tank. So what I need to do instead is link up here. So cold mains from there, link into there, and then that 22 mil supplied to the cylinder, which is on that lever valve, that can get cut out because that's just feeding the cylinder. But I basically just need to link out these two so that the cold cold mains is back on. The... Gonna have fun using this today. Fuck the hand slices. Right, cylinders out. Um, everything's cut out that we don't need so far. Some good news. This is the cold mains here. That's going up into the loft. So rather than me having to 
link it out of there and then bring that back down and then connect onto there. All I've got to do now is cut that there, come through here and link onto here. So now we can literally just get rid of everything that's here um, and everything will just be linked out under the floor. This is our primary flow from the boiler. So that will basically just link onto this. So I'm gonna lift up this next floorboard here uh, just so I can do this bit neater under the floor. This is the return that's gonna get capped under there. This is the hot that's gonna get capped for about there. And then yeah, we are all good to go. Meanwhile, this Banchon is coring 152 mil hole. Say hello Banchon. Right, legitly, this is actually getting better. Um, customers have for me to cut this bit of carpet across, lift up the next floorboard. Now we've got our primary flow returns and our heating flow returns. So instead of having to do all that linking out here, because I nicked a bit of the pipe there when I was cutting this floorboard out, I'm just gonna do my cuts here. So what we've got, that is return, return. So I'm literally cut, link, cut, link, job done. Another floorboard up, another nice surprise. So where I had to link the cold main that was going up into loft back round and then I was gonna link that to there. Look what we found. These two are right next to each other. So once the water's off, cut that, link that straight into there. And that's our cold mains pressurized. So cold main into cold main, uh, flow into flow, return into return. Job done. Let's start doing some pipe work now. Right, conversion is all done. So, as you can see, return been linked to the return, flow's been linked to the flow, and that's the cold mains that's been linked up. Everything here is actually all out, ripped all out of the loft. So, there's literally no pipes left up there. Uh, we also had a shower pump in here, which has now been disconnected and the hot and cold feeds have just been linked out again. So that's gonna be fed from, uh, well, that's all gonna be mains fed now and straight to the bar mixer. Um, B is downstairs doing something productive, I hope. He's trying to be productive. He's pretending now. What do you need? Soup sleeve. Super sleeve. Real life plumbing, real life fuck ups. Okay, so cold mains is back on. We've got hot water downstairs, nothing upstairs. So started taking all this apart. I fucked up here. That loop coming there. That's literally just that hot pipe that I capped is looping there, coming back. So there's nothing there. What I thought was the cold mains going up in the loft over here, that's actually the hot feed. So now I need to link that back into whichever one of these connects into there. And I'm gonna run, luckily I haven't ripped out the cold pipe completely upstairs. So we're gonna bring this back up there and then link back onto here. Cause right now we've got no water on the upstairs. You live and learn. Right, I haven't got much fun battery left, but sorted, it's all working. So that pipe, which I originally thought was the cold feed going into the loft is not, that's the hot pipe. So that's now been reconnected there and then goes into the 22. Now that goes to the bathroom and brought that cold feed back down through the loft around there, connected into the cold service. So now we've got hot and cold upstairs, downstairs, every fucking way. That's it. Carpet, boards back down. Just got the cold feed now. <sighs> All right, down by the boiler. Use the nice flu snug. That sort that out. And then inside, old boiler is down there. It's now been converted to up here. All the pipe works there. Accessories all below. So yeah, conversion's done. These has got to come up tomorrow to just do a bit the PRV and the condens, get that sorted out. It's what, fucking 10 to midnight now. So yeah, we're gonna pack up and go home. Oh. And 
this is why I call in stores Ben Children stores because they are motherfucking Ben Children stores. Right, morning everyone. Well, it's nearly afternoon. I've only got up a little while ago and we saw a bloody button at 3 a.m. Oh, one of them days, one of them days, but we've got it done. Well, Steve's got to go back and do a few finishing bits today. But the main stuff was all done yesterday. So, yeah, that's uh, a first for me. When we turned the cold mains back on, we had hot and cold water downstairs and nothing upstairs. No cold water, no hot water, nothing. I think, what is it? What is it? I've done the same that I do on every conversion where you remove the cylinder, you cap off the hot feed, remove the vent, um, and then when you tee into the hot supply downstairs, um, it should just go to the rest of the house. But where I fucked up was, well, the hot and colds. I'll show you on the next slide. So this picture you're going to see, what I thought was the cold feed going up into the loft from the airing cupboard was actually the hot feed coming back up from downstairs and feeding the rest of the upstairs and that was teed into the hot supply from the cylinder. And the reason why I thought that was this picture. So you can see that's the cold feed coming up into the loft and it looks like where all the pipes are all coming up into the loft, it looks like that is the same pipe from the airing cupboard. However, when we connected it all up, it didn't work. So then I just started taking up more floorboards and I found where I'd fucked up. Um, but luckily, uh, the pipe upstairs, I hadn't cut it back like too far back, so I had enough to basically get back onto it. Got another tube of copper straight down through that boxing again. Uh, there's actually clips inside that boxing, so I actually managed to feed it straight through a clip. Um, what am I looking for? I think I've got everything. Um, and then, yeah. I basically just reconnected all the hot and colds as they should have been. I'm going like a headless chicken. I'm so fucking tired today. Um, got it all connected back up and working. But you know what? It's a good lesson because we have to fuck up. If we don't fuck up, we're never going to learn. We're never going to get better. And we're never going to remember.